A lot of people know that I have run my business with my family. My husband and I have been partnered together for, let's see here, it was 2006 when we officially started our company. So um, 14 years. With that, we were also partnered with my eldest son and we were business partners for over 10 years. So my background has always been to bring my family to work with me and my businesses. And it started when they were real small. So for example, I did Avon. You probably heard of Avon. And there were door knobbers that I would need to pass out in the neighborhood. Well, guess what? I had my, they were very small. I'm thinking three or five uh, or four and six. I don't remember, but very small. They went with me. I've never believed that, you know, the parents work separately and the kids, you just play. You know, I'm, I'm all about let's work together to move the family forward. Another example, my eldest son needed braces. I said, do you want braces? He said, yeah. I said, great. We'll work together to pay those off. So basically we did a paper route together. It's just showing that when we team up together, we can do more and it creates respect within the family so that when kids are asking for money and all their various needs, they need to understand that there's work that goes beyond or behind the acquisition of making money. Why not teach that to, when, to them when they're young rather than isolating them away from that event that's actually not the norm when you look back in human history. Human history is such that they see mom and pop work in a business and the kids are right alongside them. I'll give you a perfect example. So we have done um, uh, trips to China and I think about, um, not Wuhan, what's the name? Ningbo. Not Ningbo. Uh, Iwu. Iwu, okay, Iwu Market. And my son is right there, he's my videographer. And he was with us, he was doing the videos when we were in Iwu. All to say, um, these are family businesses. And it was really apparent. It's one of the world's absolute largest sourcing uh, locations. Uh, it's absolutely mammoth. But all to say, there were families, there were little kids right there in the shops with their parents. Not all of them, but a good majority. So the kids are growing up in the business. See, this is where you gain a sense of value and contribution, is when you are contributing to the family. They're doing chores. They're doing work. <laughs> this is, we need to be productive and teach our kids to be productive. So that's a little bit of my philosophy about that. All to say here at the e-commerce business school, I highly encourage people, bring your kids into the business, all right? One of my staff, her daughter was nine years old when she started the mother on her Amazon store. She taught the daughter right alongside her and at age 13, she can run the entire Amazon business. So don't treat your children like they're not smart enough. They're actually probably smarter. <laughs> they're very, um, they can learn very, very fast and they're way better with technology. Why not bring this in? In fact, my belief is that while raising your kids, business ought to be core and center. Teach them how to run a business. See, we really shifted in this country at one time, we were more business owners than not business owners. And what turned that around was the industrial age and the movement of the masses into the factories. And everyone became little worker bees and the school systems were fashioned after that model. There's a reason the school bell rings when it does. All right, that whole world view of teaching children in that methodology is broken and it's antiquated and it doesn't work. We are in a global era where it is all about the ability to collaborate with people. And if you can't have that brought through in the education that your children are receiving, there's a significant piece lacking because we are in the era of innovation. And the way you innovate is bringing people together to progress something forward. That's what my entire team is about all continual masterminds, this, I call it a mutual brain trust. Well, that's gonna happen in your family. 
this mutual brain trust. And I think it's a, a real tragedy. I've worked with tens of thousands of people. And I remember distinctly, it was two gentlemen in a pretty close span of time. And the one guy said, you know what, Ann? I don't, I don't know how to work for myself. I just show up at work and I wait to be told what to do. I don't even know where to begin, Ann. And I was just floored. How, how does someone grow up and end up in that situation? I think it's tragic. I think that's tragic. Instead of knowing how to you know, resource, pull information together, and take action, this guy was completely stymied because he needed someone over his shoulder telling him what to do every step of the way. Do you want that for your children? I don't. Innovation and creativity is the order of the day. So all to say, um, that's just, I'm bringing in a lot of philosophy here. Beyond that is just this keeping the family together, working together to advance the family. Why not do that more as a unit instead of you got a brain trust over there in one direction and a brain trust over there in another direction when you could really corral that together and create this bonfire effect. And I've done it and I've done it in spades. And it's so much fun. And so uh, it's just kind of like breathing for me to, to do this, to create this energy, to corral the various talents that your family has. Some will excel in one area, not so much in another. Just corral these together. So within my community, we have so many people doing this as a family. Um, in the more advanced models, sourcing methods, uh, when we do our workshops, I'm always kind of surveying my members. How many of you are doing this as a family? So 45% of the people threw their arms up. Uh, they're doing it with their daughter. They're doing it with their son. They're doing it with their husband. They're doing it with their sister. Uh, just our last event that we hosted in Dallas, many mother, son, mother, daughter, uh, father, daughter, so many people. And I think it's fantastic. And in this way, we strengthen the relationships within the family instead of kind of here and there catching up on your, your daughter's job. Come together, build a business together and have that satisfaction that bringing the team together, you can do more together than you can apart. So this is a really, really strong um, foundation here at the e-commerce business school because of my own personal background and experience. So if that interests you, just know that coming into my platform, it is extremely opportune for you to work with your family to advance your business together. Regardless of that big dream, you've got to build a foundation. You have to have a business that has cash flow. If you need more cash, go out and source some more. Shove those products into Amazon, what's going to spit out the other end is profit. It's that simple, isn't it? Then we start looking at it as, this really is a system. So how can I add more to my system? How can I start to scale this? That's why this is so integral, each pillar leading up sequentially to that long-term reliable business. These are the real assets then that somebody who wants to buy a business, this is what they look for. This is the brand launcher, the career launcher, the income launcher. It's a beautiful thing. How many of you are interested in selling your business? Build it to sell, make a profit. They can learn and master this skill and then turn around and do it multiple times over. Yes, you can make a million dollars just selling on Amazon alone.